This project is truly revolutionary. It's never done, specifically not in this size and this scale. For us, it's more than commercial. We believe in decarbonisation of this planet. Innovation doesn't exist without taking risk, but we think that this technology is really a game changer. The maritime industry is, uh, is an extremely hard industry to decarbonize, so there's not many tools that you have. So it's really important that we as users of the maritime industry are also going to get involved in some of the innovation and really move the industry forward. Cargill phoned us and said, could you actually invent a wind propulsion system for us? A system that we could put on our vessels and decarbonize the deliveries of food around the globe. They arguably know more about shipping than Bartek. We're the techie guys knowing how to invent things. And that partnership's been really, really strong. So we fed off each other. And that's about energy, expertise, technical know-how, and drive and determination. Because what we've done together is not easy. Otherwise, everybody would be inventing wind for ships. We were looking for interesting technologies that we could bring in-house in order to make the maritime industry greener. And then we came across Bar Technologies with the assisted wind propulsion as a super cool technology to embark in. If you look at the, the Pareto of the savings, meaning how much you can save per technology, wind propulsion is one of the biggest levers you have. There are so many energy saving devices in the market today. Wind assisted propulsion system is one of the very few solutions available that can achieve fuel savings by two digits and it can be retrofitted. One of the strong learning points in the shipping industry is it's all about partnership. Without a very strong collaboration of Cargill, MC Shipping, Costco Shipyard, Bar Technologies and Yara Marine Technologies, we would not have been able to bring wings to the water that fast. The wind wings made up of three elements. They're, each of them are 37 and a half meters tall. The middle one is 10 meters wide and then the front element is five meters wide and that's a duplicate of the rear element which is also five meters wide and they work together. So each of those elements has a central pivot and the whole wing also rotates such that we can actually present that wing in many different angles, in many different formats, depending on the wind angle and the wind speed. This innovation is extremely important for the, the maritime industry because it is a technology that is actually using wind, which is a free fuel in the end of the day, each of these wind wings is saving one and a half tonnes of fuel a day. That's 4.65 lower CO2 emissions per wing per day. That's next level savings. We hope to gain a lot of insights from Pixis Ocean, which would open the doors to expanding the application to other ships in our existing fleet. The real fight is the legacy fleet and these new builds in the future to bring the grain in the case of Cargill or, or other goods around the world and emitting far less. Where we're going to spend our time on is how can we scale this technology not just on our own fleet within Cargill but also very much in the rest of the industry.